Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to demonstrate the external links that I've added to my personal website and since creating this drop down list is a trivial task I decided not to make a separate tutorial in it but rather to focus on showcasing the project itself but probably the only thing we can actually inspect here is the following so if I just go to HTML and the header.html. You know, remember that uh, both the footer and the header are actually being uh, fetched dynamically. So uh, if you have a look at the links here, then we have the nav item drop down and the links uh, would be target blank to make sure that every single project would be opened in the new tab and just pointing uh, out the page references for every single project and we also have the separators here so eventually this gets rendered the following way so I just have this nice list so let's quickly have a look at the projects and see what is in there. So Q1 emulator is something I'm probably most proud of. So this is the good old Q1 uh, uh, computer emulator. So Q1 was the first computer introduced in the 6502 processor. Uh, the CPU, which was brand new back in the day in the 70s. So yeah, I probably should uh, run some code in here to give an idea how, how cool this thing is. So you can uh, do uh, input the opcodes, the 6502 opcodes directly by the keyboard using the addressing mode. So you can go to some uh, address, say address 200, so this four digits is the address. Then you go to data and you can just uh, provide some uh, opcode here, uh, but while well, that's long, well then you can navigate to the next address and keep input in the program like this, but I've provided the assembler here, so you can just type the 6502 assembly, then assemble, then upload everything, and you can even use the serial mode here. So probably it would just be better to demonstrate how this actually works. So once I've written um, chess program in 6502 assembly language and I would now demonstrate how that actually works so if I do 6502 6502 chess I have a couple of versions so uh, the very uh, hardcore version is this one chess ASM so this doesn't even require the uh, TTY to run, it prints the best move on the seven segment LEDs. And again, this program is under one key of random access memory, assuming both the data segment and the code segment. So this is really tiny, and this is the implementation of my bare minimum chess program uh, that I've been developing on my chess programming channel for quite a bit of time. So we can just paste the codes in, we can assemble the starting address is. 0x0000, okay, and then we do upload, and then if we just have a look at the hex stamp from the first element, and we have like 16 uh, digits in the row, so these are the black pieces, uh, these are the black parts in the memory, so blank, 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 now these are the white parts, and these are the Y pieces. So now let's try to make a move. So if I go to 0, 2, 0, 0, and uh, one byte next, so this is the search depth. If we keep the search depth equal to three, it just takes ages to complete the best move. So we can go to the data mode and change this to two. Okay, then going back to address mode and go into 0, 2, 0, 0, and go. And this should result in finding the best move, as stated here in the README. Um, so this should give something like 6343, which means D2 goes to D4. So let's have a look. Yes, 6343. So how to visualize this? If we go back to hex stamps so from the very first address to somewhere. So we have this pawns. And suddenly we have the pawn 
So A, B, C, D, D2 goes to D4. And this is how we can <laughs> sort of play chess. Then the user can make a move by manually altering the uh, memory cells with the uh, corresponding values. So if I just put this memory address to so 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is the hexadecimal. So if I put this one to 0 and this one to, say, 12, this means that I uh, respond with playing d75 well but obviously this is not really that handy to play this way so later on i've provided an improvement which is a little bit bigger but uh it's more playable so the tty version which um uh can be uh played the following way so if i just take this one and this this is probably yeah this is still the manual uh the manual version still written in 6502 assembly. I also have another version that is uh, written in uh, C programming language and compiled to 6502. I can demonstrate that as well. So let me just update things here. Okay, so let's paste the TTY version code in an assemble and upload. And now we can go to the serial mode. And if we do 03F6, 03F6 space and shift G. Yeah, this prints the board and tells me that it's white to move. Great. So if I go to 0201 space, we have the search tab 3 and I want to change this to 2 and uh, dot 0201. Yeah, so this has been changed. Now 0200 space and shift G. And this should actually Again, like search for the best move, and it even prints automatically the best move that has been done. If I go back to here and again, Shift G, um, this should be like now generate move for black, and essentially this is like playing chess versus itself. And again, users still can just uh, move the piece by altering uh, the cells in the random access memory directly. Okay, and finally, the compile version for the CC65, so this is the, the same code, the same chess engine, but written in C and compiled to 6502 assembly. So it just gives uh, a bit more features, uh, like a bit more uh, rich user interface. And I already have this compiled. Uh, so we have the assembly version. Yeah, and we also should have the binary version yeah we don't quite need the binary version so let's go for an assembly version but essentially this is still the binary version so it should be run at two thousands so just grab the entire uh codes here um and again assembly uh that is available under the emulator can just interpret the opcodes directly which is also cool so we just do Base this in, assemble, starting from 2000, and upload, and go into serial mode, 2000, space, and shift G to start. Yeah, 6 5 to chess by code market key, and it even allows me to sort of type the move. So say I want to play E2, E4, and uh, yeah, it asks me for the search depth, so let's give it search depth 2. Okay, enter, and I'm waiting for a best move to be searched. Okay, finds the best move. Okay, and I'm playing out of free, and again asking for a best move for black in return, and would give me one. Okay, so he plays d7 to z5, well, etc, etc, etc. Okay, um, this is in regards to Q1 emulator, I think. So let's now go to the next project. Yeah, and by the way, uh, most of the projects are actually being covered within the YouTube series. So if you want to have a look, something uh, in regards to how I've been creating this Q1 emulator, you can have a look uh, at this playlist, for instance. Okay, so CMK Computer is an Arduino project that has kind of two implementations. So the first one is uh, the real hardware, the real Arduino, and 
you can have a look at how this actually works uh, within this series okay and um here is the version uh, that runs under the Tinkercad. Uh, there is the source code for the entire uh, emulator. So this is uh, not as complicated as the 6502, obviously, but this is the CPU of my very own design that has uh, only... So all these are the opcodes here. So no, not that many opcodes. But with this opcode, you can actually uh, write some games and even play them. So let me quickly demonstrate you the default uh, Chrome Dino game that I have on this computer. So we can just make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And yeah, like this. So we go into... Uh, Command mode and hash to start. So are you ready and playing with zero? And this is the Chrome Dino. Okay, so I can jump over the cactuses. Cacte, sorry, not the cactuses, but cacte. Yeah, I'm still proving my English. Okay, so yeah, and okay game over so yeah this is the computer uh you can write programs for just like Pokemon, one but with a slightly more simple uh set of opcodes and i even have the assembler for this uh opcodes written python so i can show you that as well if we go to uh, cmk computer here repositories and cmk computer so this is called cmk computer 2 so this is the improved version and yeah programs in assembly for instance so this is my custom assembly for instance the dino game so this is the source code for the dino so all this uh, uh, assembly uh, has been designed by me um, and I have a custom assembler that turns these assembly code into the actual opcodes. So this is the assembler written Python. It's quite simple. Yeah. And yeah, I have some more programs here. So feel free to have a look at those as well. Okay, we're moving further on. So uh, next thing is Raycaster. So once uh, I'm start making tutorials on how to do raycasting with first with Python, then with JavaScript. So you can use arrow keys to navigate through um, the maze. And if I press Shift, it shows the map like where the user is currently at. Okay, so see like. Okay, and yeah, so collision detection, so you cannot walk through the walls, and custom textures, my photos on the wall. Okay, so a very simple raycaster. In a Python version, I have a, a codes, have some codes to place the enemy soldiers and even uh, being able to shoot them and they uh, the animation when they die is, is also being like triggered okay so this is it with uh, Raycaster uh, another project is the port of the Javid X9 rasterizer that is written in C uh, in C++ I have the version in JavaScript it's quite laggy but still usable, so arrow keys and WASD to control things. Okay, so this is the camera and clip, and in particular, so really lots of polygons, hence the uh, frames per second are not really that great, but anyway, uh, this uh, works. Yeah, frames per second is really bad, but there are no optimizations, and also my video recording software is running, so. Yeah, which doesn't really help the performance. But anyway, uh, let's go further on. So uh, I've been doing lots of chess programming, and I have the entire channel dedicated to chess programming. So 
here I have the classic chess. So let's try to play a few moves. So this is much more uh, optimized as opposed to the 6502 chess version. So this is quite a huge program, actually. Uh, this is the entire engine called Wukun JS. It has the UCI protocol, so you can not only play in a web browser, but also in the uh, UCI GUI, for instance. So this is uh, not as strong, but yeah, about uh, the JavaScript version uh, goes about 1800s ELO which is not that bad at all, especially for a JavaScript version. And again, this uh, here, the search depth is, uh, is miserable. If we open the developer tools, it will probably uh, uh, yeah, give us an idea uh, in regards to how search is actually working. Yeah, because of the networking tab and cache just gets... Uh, it's flickering. Now it won't be flickering. Yeah, so... We can play chess here, which is which is quite cool. Yeah, we go for a king side attack. All right, so yeah, there's the chess engine. Yeah, so <laughs> okay, guys, uh, you got the point. And apart from this, uh, I also have a few more variants. I have the Chinese chess, which I've been working on uh, for quite a bit of time. It's essentially the same uh, the same engine but uh, just plays Chinese chess uh, well I'm not a Chinese chess player uh, so well, you, you have like this hints where the piece is about to move just to make sure that you can uh, you not miss anything yeah so the moves so for instance the can can uh, take like this but yeah I can I get captured by the knight which is very bad yeah we have uh we we may have uh the dark theme the light theme yeah and i have some more chess variants uh which are based on even a smaller engine which is very similar to the 6502 version well actually the 6502 version was derived from the code for this variant so we have well the standard chess which is just a very uh, poor engine but uh, the upside is that is it's really small and again we have the Chinese chess variant we have the Korean chess variant so for instance in Korean chess you cannot move the cannon unless there is the piece in front of it like this so it's a very complicated game I don't know how to play it but yeah just uh, implemented the rules not all of the rules basically but so if you have uh, if you want to have some additional information you can read it here and finally the Thai chess macrook yeah so that's of it so you guys I think this is a good idea to have this nice little external links on the personal website so that the user could uh, try uh, some of the projects that you want him to try and especially bear in mind those projects are also web-based yeah um, I think that's uh, just generally a good idea to uh, put everything you've ever done into single place so that the user can easily navigate through your works and uh, get a practical experience of uh, getting familiar with whatever projects you've been up with in the past. So yeah, thanks for watching and cheers.